Good morning. We're going to try to do a little illustration of the uh, process to complete a cost of production report. I'm going to use the first drill out of the five that I gave you the other day. Um, and we're going to put it on a blank form like this. Some of the equations are already there, but let's start with the beginning inventory. We're looking for units, not dollars over here. Looking for units. So 62,000 units, 5% complete. Beginning inventory, 62,000. We're going to just note here that it's 5% complete. Uh, we might as well put that down here too. And since I've said 5% complete, so let me get this done. Let's go ahead and, ch and put the complement to that here. So this is 95% uh, at this period. All right, the number of units that were received during the period from another process or from raw materials, 850,000 units. See that, 850,000 units started this period. And so we have 912,000 that we need to uh, account for, 912,000 units. Let's go down here and just do the whole units line before we do any of the extensions. Started and completed. Well, we see we started 850,000 units. And it says, of the 850,000 units in, entering the department, all were completed except 12,000. So 850 minus 12. Oops, let's do it, do it as an equation here. gives me 838,000 that we started and completed and that's 900,000 transferred to finished goods ending inventory is 12,000 units I can do that um, there are 30 percent complete if I remember correctly, 12,000 units, 30% complete. And we're always going to assume, unless we're told differently, that, all the, that the materials are added at the beginning of the process. Okay. Equivalent units. What do we do this period to finish the beginning inventory? Well, the beginning inventory was uh, given to us with the materials in place. So we have um, zero uh, um, percent times our 62,000 which is going to leave zero there and then we on this one on the conversion we have 95 percent to complete there's our little 95 there so we'll say equals oops fifty-eight thousand nine hundred equivalent units started and completed all we have to do is just carry this over it's going to be the same all the way across 838,000 units. I love that line, by the way. And all we're doing here is just adding. If you'll notice, we're just adding uh, all the way down. So there's no uh, no subtracting, no div dividing or anything until we get down to here. But all this is just addition. Okay. Ending inventory, 12,000 units. 30% complete for conversion costs, but for materials, again, materials are added at the beginning of the process. So we're going to say it's going to be the whole 12,000. In this case, it's going to be the 12,000 times 0.3 or 30 percent. And that gives us our equivalent units of 850,000 for materials and 900,500 units, equivalent units for conversion costs. Let's find the cost for direct materials. 100, 1,062,800. We have, uh, uh, for conversion costs, we have direct labor and factory overhead, so 925000 plus 425750 And let me just go ahead and format that. Oops. There we go. 
Now I feel better. Okay, all we did here, and I'll just show you the equation. We we uh, we divided the total costs by the total number of units, which gives us the cost per one unit. That's the same equation over here. So we have a cost per equivalent unit of one hundred dollar twenty-five for materials and dollar fifty for for um, conversion cost. <coughs> Cost incurred this period here is the same as uh, just adding up all the all the costs we have, direct materials and conversion costs. That's good. Uh, the num the inventory and process at the beginning of the month was twelve thousand dollars. So the addition of the twelve thousand dollars that we had at the beginning of the month plus everything we incurred during the month gives us total cost to account for of two million four twenty five five fifty. Again, the inventory at the beginning of the month is um, twelve thousand dollars cost to complete the beginning inventory let's just do this equals the equivalent units to complete the beginning inventory times the cost per unit for a conversion cost the equivalent units to complete the beginning inventory times the cost per unit and here we'll just go ahead and add these two numbers for us Uh, we'll just, now we'll add up the beginning inventory plus the cost to complete the beginning inventory to give us what the cost, the total cost of the completed inventory when we got rid of it was. Started and completed this period. Find the started and completed times the cost per equivalent unit. The same thing here. We can just since it's the same, same. Uh, equation hit, hitting the same relative blocks there we are and then we're totaling up the uh, started and completed and the cost of the completed inventory again which is going to give us the cost of everything sent to finished goods and finally we take the ending inventory same process equivalent units per materials times equivalent I mean the cost per equivalent unit same thing for conversion cost. And take the total of that and add it to the cost of stuff of completed in, completed units. And we have two million four twenty five five fifty and our check figure works and that's why you do it um, each one of these little uh, drills is the same process and I'll send you a check figure for each one of them anyway I hope this helps